story tonight, the strike deadline looming for United Auto Workers all across the nation and locally right here in Sharonville. The UAW and the three main U.S. automakers are deadlocked on contract negotiations. Not all UAW workers will walk off the job, but there is a chance that workers in Sharonville will be among the first called on to strike. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live right now. Brian, the Sharonville Ford transmission plant could end up right in the middle of all of this. Yeah, Mike, well, this would be a high impact strike point because they make uh, these key components here, the transmissions. Well, while they are ready to strike, it doesn't look like they're gonna get much of a warning. People are on edge, you know, but people are, they're also understanding of what we have to do. Yeah, now that's a local UAW 863 president, Todd Turner. His organization came out for a show of solidarity yesterday. There's still a lot of questions for the workers out there. First, you know, will there be a strike? And second, if there is, will they be picked to walk off the job? No one knows. And they may find out with everyone else. The UAW National Organization has a Facebook Live tonight, 10 p.m., where they're expected to make these announcements. It's not just the union workers who are edgy. So are businesses in Sharonville. Some of them are within walking distance of the plant, like Angelo's Pizza in Sharonville. Everybody in the neighborhoods and business, you know, they talk about it a little bit. It comes up every day, let's put it that way. The whole community feels it, I believe. So it's just a, it's a depressing factor, you know. Yeah, so if there is a strike and if Sharonville is called to walk out, they'll begin their pickets beginning tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. They're going to be out at every gate at the plant. There are eight of them. They expect to have at least two people at each gate, and they're going to run shifts on this, 32 people per shift. They expect to have some out here at the headquarters as well. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank